Hey guys and gals, thank you guys for joining me, and as we're going to see today, I'm going to be doing a product review. I've only done a couple of these so far. If you'd like to have me check out something that you guys make, go ahead and hit me up in an email in the About section and tell me what you got, and I will decide whether or not we're going to take a look at it. I don't take every review opportunity that's been presented to me. Some of them have been straight up scams. Some of them have been for products that have absolutely nothing to do with what I do here on the channel. So... If I say no to you, don't take offense. It just wasn't something that fits, and I'm not in this to make money or get free stuff. So if I say no, it's also because I don't want to waste your time, effort, or money either. So in that respect, I was reached out by a company called QB. QB is a knife manufacturer. They're out of China, and they reached out to me, and in their first line, they showed that they paid attention to what I do on the channel. They said, hey, I was watching that EDC for the uh, Wilson Combat Gun, and I wanted to see if you'd be interested in doing a review on one of our knives, because obviously knives are an important part of most EDC layouts, or outfits, however you want to put it. But you need a good knife. Three things a man needs. A good truck, a good dog, and a good knife. And QB is at the very least, doing the knife. It comes in a plain box, in a plain bag, with a little card here with their information on it, with a couple of tips. Keep out of the reach of children, obviously. Keep the knife dry. It's made out of steel. You get it wet and put it away. She's going to rust. As well as a QR code and a link to their social medias. It'll also be the only link in the description of this video, since this is a review. Uh, again, in the interest of full disclosure, they did not send a script. They did not tell me what to say. They said, here's the knife. Give it a look-see. Make a video. I look forward to seeing it. He literally said, I look forward to seeing your video. And that's awesome because there's no restrictions on me. I can do whatever I want with it. Pardon me. I gave it to Daniel for a week. I used it for a week. We abused it. He used it at the store every day. I used it at my shop. I used it in ways you should not be using a knife just to see how it held up and i think you'll see that i was quite happy with it it is g2 or g10 grips excuse me and it's a very very nice subtle finish on there doesn't abrade your skin at all so it'll be comfortable in your pocket and it doesn't hurt your hand at all ball bearing hinge obviously there you can see it's assisted opening or it's super easy assisted opening one little flick opens it up. It's actually gotten smoother over the last two weeks, but it doesn't make any noise. It doesn't ka-chunk, except for when you hit the table. It doesn't do anything funny, and it locks every single time. Super, super strong locking mechanism, because it's a very simple mechanism, but I've seen these where they can easily get thwarted just by a little bit of pressure. But nope, no matter what I do, I cannot get it to unlock on its own. But once you do that, super easy to fold, comes in, and the blade is totally covered. Sorry, I'm using a couple of boxes to brace my phone this morning. The blade itself is D2 steel, which is like the standard for your EDC knives, especially in the $60 category. So it's good to see that they're using the industry standard steel. It's got a nice little black finish with the, obviously the blade is going to be brighter because that's the cutting edge. You will see I did put a big scratch in it. That was me. It's the way I, again, abused the knife. I, I'm not going to say anything else different. I abused this knife just to see how it held up. Uh, it does have their trademark on one side and that guy on the other. If you know exactly what that means, let me know. Sorry, I'm not a super knife guy. I like knives, but I'm not a super, super knife guy. That could just be a saying or a trademark from them themselves. The balance is very nice on the knife. Feels good in the hand. The blade is the right length. I like the grip here. And QB makes a ton of different styles. If you click the link down below, you'll be taken to their page and you can see all the different knives they carry. And there's a couple other ones that I'm thinking about getting just because... Number one, I'm very happy with this one. And number two, uh, I want to change up what I carry every now and then. If you've been following me on the channel for a while, you'll know that I pretty much change guns every time I change my underwear. So I'd like to be also be able to do that with the knives. And at this price point, you can actually afford to do that. So I know people that have three, four, five hundred dollar knives and they have multiples. So you can have ten of these for the cost of two of those. The edge has stayed super, super, super sharp, super. Yeah, it wouldn't be a Joe review if he forgot how to speak English. But as you can see, it's stayed super sharp 
over the two weeks of abuse we've put it through. Uh, originally, I was prying open a computer case, and I put a small little nick in the blade, but as you can also see, it's kind of worked its way out. The, there's no such thing as a perfect knife. It's not going to stay super sharp forever. You are eventually going to have to sharpen it, but for two weeks, you can see I already filmed this once, but after two weeks, it's still shaving hairs off my arm. Yeah, sorry, that's gross. I need to moisturize. But this blade is as sharp as the day I got it, and it seems to be holding up well. Again, this finish will come off if you're using the knife in a way you're not supposed to. And over time, you're going to take the finish off of a blade. That's just the way it is. Opening, closing, running it through things. Get it caught on a bone if you're cutting open, you know, small game or whatever. You're going to take the finish off, so don't be afraid of that. If you want a showpiece knife, buy two knives, keep one on display. But this guy, like I said, there's no wear marks other than what I did to it. It hasn't rusted at all. Obviously, I've been smart and I've wiped it off before I closed it. But I've cut open a lot of stuff the wrong way just to see if I could damage the blade. And she's held up remarkably well. Like I said, this has actually gotten smoother over the last couple of weeks. I guess that happens. The material in there kind of... The, the ball bearings and everything kind of come together and they start working even better. Yeah, that's that's a EDC fidget spinner right there. It's light enough that you don't even remember that you have it half the time. Uh, twice I've gone to show this to somebody at the store and I'm like, oh, I must have left it at home. And then I dig down in my pocket and it's like, oh, there it is. So, I'm very happy with that. Overall, what do I think of the knife? Well, duh. Since I've been talking about it for seven minutes, I actually like it. And I would have told you if there was something glaringly wrong with the knife, but there isn't. At $60, it's right in line with the industry. At $60, it has the right materials, the G10 grip, the D2 steel. I like the finish. There are, again, a ton of of other blade profiles you can get and a lot of them are all in that same price range they do higher end knives they obviously because why wouldn't you if you're making a lot of knives you might as well make a lot of damn knives uh, so check out their page uh, if they have a comment section when you order tell them that you saw it here on youtube i'm sure the algorithm will show that or the link will show that but i'd like them to get like some comments from you guys say hey man I saw it on there. He's pretty honest with his review. He told us what he did with it. He said he was using it the wrong way. And uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. So do that. Check out that link. Again, it's the only link in this video because it's a product review. Come back for some more stuff. I have some cool stuff coming up here in the upcoming weeks, as well as consider becoming a member of the channel. And who knows, if we get a bunch of members, maybe I'll start giving away stuff like this because this is dumb. You can drop it from a height of up to three inches, too. But this is the kind of stuff that I could be giving away because I can give away knives. I can't give away McPew Pews, and I can't afford to give away computers, but maybe I'll give away some knives. Or a bazooka. Anyways, come back for the next video. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you have one of their knives, if you've had it longer than I have. Again, I've only had it for three weeks. Let me know how yours is held up. If you've had any issues with it, I'd be interested to hear it. Uh, come back for more content and hopefully more reviews as we move down the line and grow the channel. And as always, me and my knife will talk to you later.